I definitely think that the women in my life have helped me ha even have the strength and the guidance to look for that path and to really figure out where am I going, you know? But they gave me the confidence to know that I would find my way. Oh, black woman, you are so beautiful and strong. Even on the days where life's woes try to beat you down and make you feel otherwise, you're still unmatched. Being an HIV and AIDS case manager has taught me so much about the virus and how it has affected our community. And although the gay and trans communities are still heavily affected by the virus, in New Jersey alone, black women are heavily affected by the virus as well. And out of my female caseload, 90% of them are black women. So I see that firsthand how it has affected them and their lives. The one thing that I always strive to do in my job is to just empower them and let them know that you're living with this, you're not dying from this disease. Medication has thankfully come so far, and as a result, these people are healthier than a lot of people out there, which is great. You know, it's easy for people to cause judgment or to not know what they're talking about if they do find out someone that they know has the virus. So learning all that I've learned, I've realized that we're all different and that doesn't you know, change you or make you less of a black woman or make you anything less of a person in general. They can see themselves in me and I can see myself in them even though I may not know what they're going through. But this job has definitely been very fulfilling because I've been able to play that role in so many lives and it's just been an amazing experience so far. So in a world that doesn't empower black women all the time, I definitely make sure that I use my social media for the positive. So as a result, I've made sure that I follow women that inspire me and all of the black women around me have done that thus far. And there's been times that, you know, I felt so down or lost, especially after graduating college and not knowing what I was doing with life and just seeing all of the things that they've done or all of the black women around me that are succeeding in their own way and going down their own path, it gave me hope that I would find my path and I feel like I finally have. What I love most about being a black woman is my resilience. Um, growing up, I didn't have the most support. My siblings are way older than me and my younger brother's eight years younger than me, so it's basically just been me. I was the first person to go to and finish college in my household. So that was an experience that I had to go through with no guidance. I've been living with major depressive disorder for years now. And you know, of course, in the household, that's not always something that we talk about. And just the fact that I've pushed through all these obstacles by myself, I genuinely think that comes from just black women's strength that we're kind of born with, which is what I love most about myself, despite the fact that I'm pretty shy and awkward. <laughs> I still have made sure that I've pushed myself and I put myself outside of my comfort zone, like now. And it's just definitely made me feel like I'm so strong. You know, even the days that I feel weak or the days that I don't want to even get out of bed and do things, I've definitely learned that I can push through.